A year-long construction site on Madison's south side is raising com some concern about polluted runoff entering Monona Bay. News 3's Mary Jo Ola has more on what brought people to protest and what the city has to say about it. Long-time Madison residents hit South Park Street with signs and images of muddy runoff flowing into Monona Bay. I've lived there for 24 years and the bay is just filling up with sediment and we just had to do something about it. Steve Van Gogh has spent his whole life in Madison. He believes this construction site on Park is responsible for what he says were more than a dozen cases of polluted runoff and has pictures to prove it. Godorzi Companies out of Wausau has managed the site since July 2012. The city of Madison's come out a few times to clean up, but residents say it's not enough. The city comes out and says they're in compliance and that's it. And then we get the runoff into our bay every time. We're not against this project at all. We're against 19% of the phosphorus that goes into the bay comes from construction sites. Tim Traster is a city of Madison engineer. He's heard the neighbors' concerns and says Godorzi Companies has been cooperative by improving some ground conditions. He says the city is limited by the state as to what they can enforce. We do, you know, everything that uh, we can to, to minimize th these situations within what we're allowed to do. And, you know, we do make the, the suggestions, you know, beyond what's required. But it, like I said, we, we, can't, we can't make them go beyond that certain, that certain set bar. At this point, Van Gogh says they don't know what else they can do. They only know that the runoff just adds on to the challenges the Bay has already seen. The weeds have just clogged up. You can't even get your line out anymore. In Madison, Mary Jo Ola, WISC News 3. At this point, Traster says they'll ask the company to add more vegetation, but it will require new regulations by both federal and state governments to change the enforcement. According to emails between city officials and the Department of Natural Resources, it appears the site was indeed in compliance with regulations.